Thank you for joining me today for another episode of True and Scary Stories from Around the World. I am Joseph. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep me making episodes. Don't forget to comment and tell me your story. You can also text me 239-634-1144. And remember, don't be so scared. Bellwitch of Tennessee. Good evening, brave listeners, and welcome to another episode of True Haunting, where history and horror intertwine. Tonight, we'll delve into one of America's most notorious hauntings, a tale that blurs the line between legend and terrifying reality, the Bell Witch of Tennessee. So lock your doors, dim your lights, and prepare to be chilled by a ghost story like no other, right after this brief message from our sponsors. The story begins in the early 19th century in the rural farmland of Robertson County, Tennessee. There, on a humble homestead, the Bell family would come face to face with a malevolent force that defied explanation, an entity known simply as the Bell Witch. Imagine, if you will, the year 1817 when John Bell began experiencing strange occurrences on his farm. It started with sightings of eerie creatures, but it wasn't long before the phenomena escalated to unexplained noises, knocks, chains dragging, and the chilling sound of a gnawing rat history of the Bell family. The Bell family is of Scottish and Northern English origin, with the surname derived from the Middle English personal name Bell, which means handsome in Old French. It was also used as a nickname. The family settled in Middleby Parish in Dumfriesshire, Scotland around the 11th century. By the 17th century, there were 31 families living there. Some Bell families also emigrated to the Ulster Plantation in Ireland in the 17th century, and later to America. This suggests a long and deep-rooted history for the Bell family spanning across different regions and time periods, members of the Bell family. The Bell family is known for the Bell Witch legend, a famous haunting of the Bell family in Tennessee in the early 19th century. Specific individuals in the family at that time are not mentioned, but the legend implies a substantial family group, likely with core members experiencing the haunting together. The legend also hints at the family's influence and standing in the local community, as the haunting became a prominent and enduring local tale. The Bell Witch Haunting is set in Adams, Tennessee, specifically on the Bell family farm along the Red River. The Bell Witch Cave is also associated with the haunting, serving as a physical landmark tied to the eerie events. The rural setting of the family farm and its proximity to the Red River adds an atmospheric backdrop to the haunting, creating a sense of isolation and mystery. The specific location is crucial in understanding the context and environment in which the haunting unfolded, contributing to the rich lore surrounding the Bell Witch legend. The significance of the Bell family, and the haunting location lay the foundation for a deeper exploration of the Bell family's captivating story and the haunting that continues to intrigue and mystify people to this day. What began as innocuous, if unsettling, noises soon transformed into violent outbursts, objects thrown, furniture overturned, and the haunting voice of what some believe to be Kate Batts' ghost, a woman with whom John had a fateful disagreement. The Escalation of the Bell Witch Haunting The Bell Witch Haunting began in 1817 when John Bell, the patriarch of the Bell family in Adams, Tennessee, encountered a strange creature in his cornfield. Initially, the family heard mysterious knocking sounds on the walls and doors of their home. Over time, the noises increased in intensity and frequency, escalating to sounds of items being dropped, chains being dragged, and whispers. This initial phase of the haunting introduced a sense of unease and mystery, setting the stage for more intense manifestations to follow. As the haunting continued, the family members experienced a series of physical torments. They were slapped, had their hair pulled, and were subjected to objects being thrown at them. These aggressive physical encounters created a disturbing and intense atmosphere within the Bell family homestead, instilling fear and uncertainty among the family members. Moreover, the Bell Witch Haunting took a psychological toll on the family as well. The eerie knocking sounds and unsettling noises evolved to include whispers and the movement of furniture, contributing to a pervasive sense of unease and powerlessness. The Bell Witch entity began to target specific family members, especially the youngest daughter, Elizabeth, Betsy, causing her significant distress. The haunting also had a profound impact on Betsy's engagement to Joshua Gardner, as the entity became particularly aggressive and possessive during this period, further intensifying the psychological torment experienced by the family. The haunting not only affected the family members individually but also put them under immense scrutiny and distress in their community. The Bell family's daily lives and relationships were profoundly affected, and the haunting ultimately led to tragic consequences, including the death of John Bell in 1820. 
This chilling sequence of events paints a harrowing picture of the physical and psychological torment inflicted during the infamous Bell Witch Haunting, capturing the enduring mystery and intrigue surrounding this haunting tale. Betsy's despair and John's demise. The spirit's wrath seemed particularly focused on John Bell's youngest daughter, Betsy, tormenting the girl with relentless intensity, and it's said that the spirit even took credit for John Bell's untimely death in 1820, triumphantly claiming she'd poisoned him. Hash personal stories and eyewitness accounts, Betsy Bell's harrowing experiences. During the infamous Bell witch haunting in Adams, Tennessee, Betsy Bell, the daughter of John Bell, was a primary target of the mysterious and invisible entity. Her experiences during the haunting were marked by various forms of physical and psychological torment, painting a chilling picture of her harrowing encounters. The ghostly entity would frequently inflict physical harm on Betsy, including slapping, pinching, and pulling her hair, contributing to a distressing and intense atmosphere within the Bell family homestead. Additionally, the entity would hurl insults and threats at her, asserting that it wouldn't cease its torment until John Bell was dead and Betsy broke off her relationship with a young man named Joshua Gardner. These relentless actions took a severe toll on Betsy, instilling fear and uncertainty as she navigated the haunting's disturbing manifestation. Beyond physical torment, the ghostly presence also engaged in conversation with Betsy and other family members, adding an eerie dimension to the haunting. The chilling nature of these interactions, combined with the targeted nature of the torment, created a deeply unsettling environment for Betsy and the entire Bell family, leaving a lasting impact on their lives and relationships. Eyewitness accounts of John Bell's death. The death of John Bell, a central figure in the Bell family, is enshrouded in the chilling lore of the Bell Witch Haunting. According to the legend, John Bell's demise in 1820 was attributed to supernatural causes, marking a significant and tragic event within the haunting narrative. As the haunting escalated, the Bell Witch entity allegedly poisoned John Bell with a mysterious black liquid, leading to his untimely death. The legend further details that Bell fell into a coma and was found dead the following morning. The discovery of a vial of black liquid in the Bell family's cupboard, purported to be the poison used by the Bell Witch, added a haunting layer to the events leading to John Bell's passing. In the year preceding his death, Bell suffered from a severe facial twitch and encountered difficulties with swallowing, further emphasizing the distressing influence of the Bell Witch on his well-being. The entity also directed frequent mocking and curses toward Bell during this period, intensifying the psychological torment experienced by the entire Bell family. These accounts of personal stories and eyewitness descriptions provide a rich and unsettling portrayal of the haunting experiences of Betsy Bell and the tragic death of John Bell, contributing to the enduring mystique and intrigue of the Bell Witch legend, legacy and aftermath. Decades passed, but the legend of the Bell Witch refused to fade. To this day, strange occurrences continue to be reported near the Bell Witch Cave. Skeptics and believers alike flock to the site, hoping to catch a glimpse of the supernatural, or perhaps to find an answer to the enduring mystery, modern-day impact of the Bell Witch story. The Bell Witch story, originating from the early 19th century, continues to exert a powerful influence on modern audiences. This enduring tale has transcended time, captivating the imaginations of people in contemporary society. The story has not only inspired various artistic interpretations, including films, music, and other creative works but has also expanded its reach beyond the southern United States, attracting a broader international audience. Additionally, the Bell Witch Cave remains a significant attraction, drawing curious visitors, tourists, and ghost hunters eager to connect with the legendary haunting. Despite the passage of two centuries, the captivating and mysterious nature of the Bell Witch story persists in popular culture, maintaining its allure for those intrigued by paranormal and supernatural folklore. Visitor Experiences at the Bell Witch Site Recent visitor experiences at the Bell Witch Site have highlighted the captivating atmosphere and the opportunity to delve into the rich history and legends surrounding the Bell Witch Haunting. Tour guides at the site have been described as friendly and knowledgeable, providing visitors with engaging and informative experiences. Furthermore, some visitors have reported witnessing supernatural occurrences, adding an extra layer of intrigue to their visit. While these occurrences are not common, they have contributed to the continued fascination and mystique surrounding the Bell Witch legend. Overall, the modern impact of the Bell Witch story is evident in its ability to draw inquisitive visitors from diverse backgrounds, offering them a chance to connect with a historically and culturally significant narrative. The blend of historical intrigue and potential for otherworldly encounters continues to make the Bell Witch site a compelling and enthralling destination for those interested in exploring the realms of folklore, history, and the supernatural. Our journey through the shadows of the Bell Witch's legacy comes to an end, but the echoes of her sinister laughter seem to linger in the corners of our minds. 
Has the curse of the Bell family truly been lifted, or does the vengeful spirit still roam the dark hollows of Tennessee? We leave you to ponder the thin veil between our world and the next, until next time. Thank you for joining us on True Haunting. If you've enjoyed this descent into the eerie annals of the unexplained, be sure to subscribe and leave a rating. Stay haunted, my friends, until our next ghostly encounter. I'm Joseph, this has been True and Scary. Thank you for joining me today for another episode of True and Scary Stories from Around the World. I am Joseph. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep me making episodes. Don't forget to comment and tell me your story. You can also text me 239-634-1144. And remember, don't be so scared. Welcome, once again, to True and Scary, stories from around the world. I am your host, Joseph. The Haunting of the Hensburger Pick Farm Welcome, listeners, to Beyond the Veil, where each episode we plunge into the chilling depths of the most haunted histories. I'm your host, Joseph. Tonight, we unearth the bone-chilling mystery of the Hinkerpiffic Murders, a tale that begins the desolate farmland of 1920s Germany, where whispers among the wheat and footsteps in the snow single Terra. What lurk behind the walls of the Gruber family's remote homestead? Draw closer and listen to the ghosts of the past. Sixty miles north of Munich lies the remains of a farmstead known as Henkertefek. Before its dark secret into legend, it was the humble abode of the Gruber family. Days before the tragedy, Andreas Gruber, the patriarch, confided in his neighbors about mysterious footprints in the snow leading to the farm, but none leading away. He spoke of strange noises in the attic and a newspaper that appeared from nowhere. Even the house keys were missing. The stage was set for a harrowing encounter. On the 1st of April, 1922, a silence fell over Hintergriffin. It was the kind of silence that suffocates. Neighbors ventured to the farm after the family and their maid were not seen for days. What they discovered would haunt them forever. The Grubber family and their maid were found brutally murdered. The crime scene was an abyss of unanswered questions. Who could commit such a accuracy? And was the perpetrator still among them? You are listening to True and Scary. We will be right back.
welcome back to True and Scary. I hope that you are enjoying the story so far. There's a lot more to come. Hang on to your seats. Let's continue, shall we? Post-murder. The farm became a hotbed for supernatural speculation. Locals spoke of shadowy figures seen in the windows, of untraceable footsteps in the night, and of the Grubber family's restless spirits. Paranormal investigators have named Hinterkirchweg one of Germany's most haunted sites, where the veil between the living and the dead is paper thin. Despite painstaking investigations, the murders remained shrouded in enigma. Leads went cold and suspects turned to shadows, slipping through the fingers of law enforcement. What transpired at Hinker de Vick Farm remains one of Germany's most profound mysteries, leaving us to wonder if the cold hand of the Gruber family slayer or their vengeful spirits might reach out from the veil still yearning for justice, or yearning to kill again. As we bring this episode to a close, remember that the boundary between this world and the next can be as thin as the walls that house dark secrets. The shadows of the Hinkerfic remind us that some tales don't end but live and linger on, haunting the living with questions that may never find the answers. Join us next time on True and Scary as we explore more hidden corridors of the supernatural. Good evening and stay haunted. This has been a production of True and Scary. I am your host, Joseph. You are tuned into True and Scary stories from around the world. I am Joseph, your host. We will return right after this.